Have you ever seen such a large-scale gold placer? Countless people come here. Dig this place into an inverted pyramid. Here you are rich in a night without a dream. One week ago, southern Brazil, they have discovered the largest natural gold bullion in a hundred years. The information spreads across Brazil very quickly. There are only 30 miners in the first 10 days. A month later it has passed 1,000 people. Joaquim is a teacher. Burr unfortunately, he has got transitioned out of his job. Lacking of economic resources, also his wife is pregnant. He wants to go dig the gold too. As long as you dig freely mine gold bars. It is much more than his salary a year. Joaquim's heart is soon followed by the gold mine. He determines to go without hesitation. Leaving his wife and going with a friend, Juliana. First, they fly to the Amazon forest. Then take a ride and walk. They finally arrive at the Serra Palada gold mine. It's full of miners here. Take the hoe and try hard to dig. The gold mine is divided into more than 300 zones. Each area has economic funding capital that maintains dominance. The two of them see someone else digging for gold. Seeing a bright future, wealth is not a dream. The two of them are very lucky. Over the past few days, 400 grams of gold bullion has been dug. But gold is mined here, all are collected by the capitalists. It can be exchanged for cash on the spot. Gradually, Joaquim and Juliano rolls over happily. They also contract a small area, hire some miners. Though there is no basic salary. But compared to 1% of gold is paid at other areas, they get paid 2%, more than double. Today there is a group of people in the ore mines who think their area is large. But there are few people work there, they want to take this place. Joaquim takes out the gold mine certificate. But in the eyes of this colleague it is a joke. He even takes knives out that he wants to deal with force. Joaquim is panicked, Giuliano rushes over and pushes him. Stabbing the knife into his body. The dead here are unnoticed. But this time it was unexpected to make Giuliano known that only violence can deal with this world. A month later, they make a fortune. Partying all night. Taking pictures, the day of going home is getting closer. Soon the government takes over the mine. All gold is priced at reasonable prices, directly selling to federal banks. The government also establishes a health center for miners. Forbidding prohibited goods appearing on mines. Although there are many people who aren't satisfied but they also unable to disapprove. Months like that, Joaquim and Giuliano have already made a fortune. Isabel wants to tell Joaquim to go back, the money he earned is enough. But Joaquim is still not satisfied. The gold here never run out, he wants to be rich. 30 kilometers from the gold mine, there is a place called 30. There are may things to play here. Giuliano has bought a gun here. A girl named Teresa matches Giuliano's eye. Next to Teresa is Coronel, a big figure, managing lots of gold mines. The two look at each other, quickly go to toilet. By this time, Teresa often frequents Giuliano's residence. She also exposes Coronel's intelligence. Here is the largest gold mine in Brazil. Countless people come here. Thought it's a complicated place. Gold in the mines is being dug more and more. Joaquim's accounts also gradually thicken. Isabel also favorably gives birth to a daughter, Joaquim is happy. Sending money every month. Joaquim wishes to earn some more money. In order to return earlier to see a daughter who has just been born. But Giuliano not only needs money but also wants greater power. Today, there is a landslide at the mine. Joaquim considers the safety of the workers. Then announced to stop work for a day. But Giuliano insists that the workers have to continue to work. It makes no sense for him even if they are dead or not, gold is the most important. Gold that the Federation takes away, is transported by the police to the airport. But Giuliano wants to make some more, so he sells gold to trafficking criminals. Coronel wants to buy their gold mine. He is rejected by Giuliano. He was not committed to just being a small gold mine owner. He wants to go higher. Standing on top of the pyramid looking down at all. But Coronel has bought a gold mine around there's, enough. Only Giuliano is left in cooperative. Joaquim doesn't understand. Giuliano, who hasn't even heard the price, has turned and left. If they sell it, they still can be rich. Besides, their gold mine is about to run out, now is a good time. Giuliano tells Joaquim. He knows beside Coronel, there is a geologist discovering that. Under our area, there is still bulk gold left. But Joaquim still wants to leave. The long time here has awakened evil from the bottom of the human heart. Giuliano assures him some extra time. If they can't dig for gold, it's not too late to sell. A few days later Giuliano is almost assassinated. Luckily, he kills the opponent quickly. Giuliano guesses Coronel wants to kill people to cover his tracks. Take the opportunity to rob the gold mine. Giuliano is just pure jealousy. Teresa decides to marry Coronel. Giuliano is so angry that he hires an assassin, assassinating Coronel the day he gets married. After Coronel's death, people fight over the mine. And Giuliano is the one who reaps the most. Finishing all enemies against him. Rule it all here is his will. Teresa has lost her support, back to old job. Forcibly held back by Giuliano. Giuliano now even criticizes Joaquim as being useless. He does not consider him a partner anymore, or treats like a brother. All of that is seen by Lindo, the owner of another gold mine. He says they are still friends when they first make money. But now the way he talks to him. He assumes he is his junior. This sentence annoys Joaquim a little. Lindo takes out a preferential treatment, advising Joaquim to come work for him. But Joaquim refuses, saying that he doesn't care about these things. But seem like, Joaquim has had enough to do this. He decides to hide that money waiting for the day to return home. But Giuliano thinks Joaquim takes his money. Forget that this is the money they co-earn. Giuliano even takes a gun. Pointing to his good friend forcing him to hand over all the money, and saying that if he wants to go home then go. But he has to leave the money. If he still wants to work here, there is a accountant spot for him. Jillane's approach completely disappoints Joaquim. The two people are completely contradictory. The next day Joaquim gets courage to go to the mines to find Giuliano. 
claiming for the money that he deserves to have. Giuliano is shameless blaming Joaquim for stealing his money. All the houses in this mine are not yours either. Joaquim is furious punching Giuliano and leaves. He doesn't look for Lindo. But go to the bottom area of mine gold, hopping for dug a bar of gold. Fulfill his promise with Isabel. When he faces to face with Giuliano, things don't go well anymore. The power and money make Giuliano suspicious everything. Teresa and the others glances at each other in the bar. Giuliano can not help but try to finish off the opponent. All makes Teresa unable to breathe, finally she has a chance to escape. But she is still taken by Giuliano. Teresa blames him. Now he is alone without friend or things to trust. The more he lives, the more he doesn't resemble humans. These words make Giuliano awaken from a beautiful, lavish dream. He releases Teresa. This is their third year here. All changes. Giuliano drinks until unconscious. Joaquim has gone. Looking at the picture of his wife and daughter, he is heartbreaking. No pains, no gain. Joaquim finally gets the gold, has huge amount of cash. He cannot wait to go home. But on the way, a powerful state is ahead, stealing all his money. Joaquim is completely angry. The first thing he thinks of is Giuliano is playing with him. So he looks for Lindo, preparing to destroy Giuliano. Lindo knows Giuliano's accounts are all managed by Joaquim. Also it's seen as directly destroying Giuliano. First they looked for a group of people who hates Giuliano. As described by Joaquim, they successfully take away the accounts of Giuliano at his office. Then Lindo hands over the books to the police. After the incident is revealed, Giuliano knows the secrets revealed by Joaquim. The juniors want to call Giuliano to run away. But he refuses, he looks for Joaquim, Joaquim frankly. Telling that the secret is told by him. But this time Giuliano doesn't come to kill him. But want to lead him to run away, Joaquim scolds him hypocritical. Giuliano scolds him for having been tricked by Lindo. Who now has taken their territory and even wants to kill both. Giuliano is soon awake shouldn't hurt the brothers. So he wants to save Joaquim, don't want to let him lose his life here. Joaquim hears Giuliano mention their promise that year. Slowly take down the burden. The two of them ruin each other so they consider to be equal. They take a step at the same time, their suspicions from before also disappears. Decide to leave this place together. When Joaquim walks out the front door, he is shot by Lindo's men. Giuliano immediately shoots back, take the chance to run away. After taking Joaquim to the hospital, he is also arrested by the police. This time, he is accepted to being arrested for Joaquim. Over a period of time, Joaquim recovers. End of this four-year gold digging journey. Now he is like when he has just arrived four years ago, empty-handed, empty-handed leave. Following a dream is always simpler than giving up on a dream. But the good news is, his wife and daughter are always waiting for him home. Seeing the daughter has grown up. To him what is more important than his family. In prison. Giuliano after going out has sent him. The photo they took together when they first go to Brazil, and a shaggy check. Looking for Lindo and kill him. The movie about gold mining journey ends here.